Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the week of October the 18th to the 24th, 2021. Now, on the 18th, finally Mercury goes direct again. <laughs> and on the 20th, we have another full moon. Now, this full moon is called the Hunter's Moon. <clears throat> so named because that was the time back in the day, um, for hunt and for actually storing meat for the winter. So therefore, energetically speaking, this is a full moon for and of preparations. How much um, that will be reflected in the readings remains to be seen. In any case, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. So, energetically speaking, we have the kid fox and the red-tailed hawk. So, when Mercury goes retrograde on the 18th, um, its energy can still sort of stay there for a day or two or three. <laughs> and then we're heading to the new moon, which is obviously to the full moon, which can also um, make us feel a bit almost burdened, energetically speaking. But here's what the guides have to say. We have the kid fox and the red-tailed hawk. What they're saying is, should this be a week where you feel a bit boxed in, not quite sure, you know, where my life is going, just go with the flow, right? So for all of us, the overall energy is basically saying, you know, should there be elements in your life of frustration and maybe, hmm, Feeling lost is not exactly what I'm getting. It's more like being being a bit anxious. So if there are some areas that cause you anxiety, just go with the flow this week. Really, really important. Just go with the flow. We are in the star sign of Libra. And on the 24th, the last day of this week, we will go into the next star sign, which is, let me just have a look, because I'm not visit, Scorpio. But for now, we are in Virgo. So... So what am I talking about? We're in Libra. Don't mind me. So let's have a look at what we have for Librans. Librans, you have the blue heron and the mouse. Ultimately, for Libra, all the guides are saying is remember the overall energy was to go with the flow. And the blue heron is a bird that stands in the water on one leg all day, if needs be. And when the fish comes, he goes, thank you. Right? So this is not a week for Libra, uh, for Librans to um, chase anything. Really, really important. Let things come to you. Don't chase anything. And your outgoing energy is the mouse. And the mouse is basically one of those few rodents that are not scared of heights. What that really means is that you see the world exactly for what it is. Right? So um, therefore, energetically speaking, um, you know exactly how to deal with anything that comes your way. Okie dokie, that was the overall energy for Libra, going to the next star sign, which is Scorpio. Let's have a look what we got for Scorpios. Scorpios, you have the wolf and the swan. Now, the wolf is basically telling you, remember, that, um, you know, in order for your life to really work, you have to be in charge of your own affairs. So this week, the guides are saying to you is be in charge, right? You call the shots, no one else. Even if advice comes your way, treat it with a, with a, with a little bit of a pinch of salt, if that makes sense. Even if people advise you well, feel it. Feel where you want to go, feel what you want to do, and then follow your intuition much more important this week for Scorpios. And then you have the swan, which is basically a water bird that sort of tells you that you are already waterproof, if there is the word. And so therefore, um, while you had or went through a time of transformation and change, now is the time for you to, to well, kick ass really, um, and to start over, right? So pay attention to what it is you want to do and then just go and do it. 
Okie dokie, that was the overall energy for Scorpio. We're looking at the week of October the 18th to the 24th, 2021. Please smash the like button, please share and please subscribe. And if you do like my work and you want to support me financially, you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So, next star sign we're looking at is Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the ferret and the grey fox. So, sometimes or oftentimes we have overlapping energy. In your case, that's actually not what's happening here. While um, Scorpio was asked to be in charge and do stuff, <coughs> excuse me, Sagittarians are, they're not asked as such. They're reminded, again it's an energy thing, that you should always feel where you are at in life, right? Because you have the ferret, which is an animal that is really, really intelligent, but not necessarily valued all that much. And then you have the grey fox, which means you're an old soul. Therefore, this is a week for, for you to realize that you don't need the adulation of others. You don't need a pat on the back for the things that you, that you do well. This is a week for you to be internal. And remember, because you're an old soul, no matter what it is you do in life, as long as you feel and believe this is the way to go, do everything and anything with all your heart, and you're going to be just fine. So that was Sagittarius, going to the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Here we go. Capricorns, you have the Grey Scribble and the Beaver. So. Energetically speaking, this might be a, a bit of a week where you are all over the place. <laughs> it just means that this is a week where, where if you have any ideas or thoughts, they might just go right? So you may have even too many thoughts. Um, so you need to therefore calm down, right? So, energetically speaking, because this is a, it's about looking at what is coming to you energetically speaking, what is it you um, you want to look at, what is it you want to do, which seems to be a theme this week, is to look and remember, that makes sense because the full moon that we're having is the hunter's moon, which is about prepare, preparing, you know, about preparation for the winter, as it was, or as it were, but um, this is about preparing for your future. and. That's why if there, are, is there, if there is too much going on in your life, um, Capricorns, then you may find it hard to actually pinpoint where you're going. Therefore, it makes sense to go like, okay, let me be, 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 let me be a bit calmer here. Because your outgoing energy is the beaver, which is the animal that is known for the builder of bridges. So you automatically will think about the people you love, the people you care about. Um, and all the guides are saying to you is manifest for yourself. The universe knows that you are a unit, right? And therefore they support the entire unit, right? So should you, or should you be a person that hasn't got anyone and you kind of feel like, what the heck you're talking about, Thomas, <laughs> right? You have the beaver, the builder of bridges, which means if you look at your ideas and slow down a little and you have the builder of bridges then remember that you're not supposed to go everything alone and maybe it is time you looked at your energy and maybe allowed yourself to be calmer and manifest a new beginning with a lovely and loving partner okay here we go that was capricorn going to the next star sign which is aquarius the water bearer Aquarians, you have the panther and the sparrow hawk. Not a good week. <laughs> Not a good week to hide anything. You have the panther, which means there's parts of you that are in hiding. Maybe you don't want to share something. Maybe you feel, oh, I don't want to cause any trouble. I don't want to upset anyone. This is the week for you to not be the panther, which means not be the, the jaguar inside 
um, a different skin that that hides your your points. If there anything in your life that has changed or is now more important, and it affects other people, this is the week where the universe is saying to you, the universe is saying to you, please speak up, right? Please say something. Don't try to be overly protective. Um, also, this is the week where you have to sort of, you know, say like, okay, you know, I made certain decisions and now um, warts and all, no matter what happens in the future, I tell everyone what's what, right? So that's important because you have the sparrow hawk, uh, which is the animal, again, we have the hawk a, a, a lot. We had it earlier for another star sign, which uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So what they're saying is, <clears throat> excuse me, don't be too worried about it. Just speak the truth. Really, really important. Tell people what's happening and where they are at. Also, the way this feels to me, if this is work-related, then maybe it is time for you to speak up, if that makes sense, right? Um, you can't control people. You know, you, you never know what people do from one minute to the next, if that makes sense. And so what the guides are saying is, don't try to read into, oh, is that a good time? Right? This is a week, sounds a bit weird, to possibly come clean because when you are not hiding, if that makes sense, or also if there's any insecurities inside you, then perhaps it's the week for you to say like, you know what, maybe I have to commit here. And that's what I'm hearing for Aquarians, if that makes sense. So my feeling is that this is uh, one of those bit weirder um, uh, energies that I'm getting, which means it might not apply to all of you, but then again, these are general readings, so they might never apply to, to everybody, if that makes sense. But for Aquarians, this is a really important week because the panther is not capable of hiding in the bushes because of the black fur. So what that means is, <clears throat> eventually, truth wants out, so you might as well start, you know, making changes and, and, and <clears throat> own it, right? So that was Aquarius going into the next star sign, which is my star sign, Pisces. We're looking at the week of October, the 18th to the 24th, 2021. This is what we got for Pisceans. Interestingly enough, we only got one um, animal guide hmm, instead of two, right? I'm offended. <laughs> so we're not getting all that much. What we're getting is we have the owl. And the owl is basically saying to you is, right, you don't have to explain everything 10 times. If you feel like, you know what, I don't want to really talk about A, B or C, then don't, right? And tell people, you know, that there are certain topics that you simply do not wish to share with them, if that makes sense. Right? That doesn't mean that you that 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 us Pisceans all of a sudden you know um, remove ourselves entirely, but it feels that are uh, there are people out there that even though they may care, they have a lot of opinions about you or me, if that makes sense. And it's about saying, you know what? Um, if I want your opinion, I ask for it, because the owl obviously is a very wise animal, Yay. so it's really good for for us Pisceans. Um, but overly explaining stuff this week for us Pisceans is not a good idea. Also, the owl draws an auditory map so she can hear the mouse in the undergrowth. So she can actually get the mouse without being entangled in the undergrowth. Therefore, once we're clear on what we allow people what, what space and how much space we allow people to take up in our lives, um, it is easier for them to also know boundaries. So boundaries are, are quite important this week. That was Pisces. Just need a sip of coffee. Sitting awkwardly, so my, my, my legs are falling asleep. I'll just rearrange and, and, and furl myself here. Anyway, that was Piscean. Sorry, I just... Shall we, <laughs> shall we continue? Now we're looking at Aries. Let's have a look at Aries. Now, Aries, remember, and exactly speaking, you are the first star sign in the zodiac. And the reason why you are the first zodiac is because the Western um, 
astrology, the Western zodiac, the Western star signs, astrology, is all based on the ancient Greek. And in ancient Greece, the first day of spring was the beginning of the year. And that falls into when you are born or when you were born, Aries. So you are an element of new beginnings, therefore you are first. Now, when you're first, you have a little less support because you can't draw on anything, if that makes sense. Now, since we're, we're, we're humans <laughs> and, um, you know, it doesn't mean that, that, you're, that you're, you're not getting advice. What I'm trying to say is that in, in Aries, there is an element of feeling isolated and maybe a little bit alone. And all the guides are saying is it's an energy thing. That is an imprint that your soul is carrying with you, which is why we have all been given an ascendant. So look at your birth chart, find out who your ascendant is and in which planet um, the ascendant sits, because that's a little buddy, a little helper, whose energy can help you a lot, which means all star signs, we have oftentimes two primal planets that govern us, right? So, so Aries has obviously has yours. And then um, obviously wherever your, your ascendant sits, if there is a different planet, that energy will help you too. Ultimately, you have the ocelot and the barn owl. So we, we just had the owl. The ocelot is basically, basically saying to you, all you need to do this week, Aries, is to you know, step back a little from everything, you know, look th look at things from a higher point of view. And again, like we had with, with Pisceans just now, um, you also are being told by the exact same owl, by the exact same symbolism, to not overly explain yourself, because you do not have to explain everything. And maybe when people can't understand what you're trying to explain to them, maybe they don't want to. And so maybe it's it's about times like, you know what, I'm not wasting my breath any longer because I said my piece 25 times, right? So this is something for Aries to contemplate on. That was that. Going to the next star sign, which is Taurus. Taurus, you have the mule deer and the red fox. The mule deer is basically saying to you, this is a week for you to be in as calm a mood and in as calm a mode um, as you can possibly be. Don't allow anyone to piss you off. Don't allow anyone to lower your energy, if that makes sense. Taurians, this is a week for you to literally nurture yourself, look after yourself and look at yourself. And make sure that you have enough time just for yourself because your outgoing energy, we had that animal or the, that animal guide before as well, which is quite normal because we oftentimes have overlapping energy. You too have the red fox, denoting that you are a very old soul. And that means that sometimes when you have a certain level of understanding of the universe and life, you may attract people that are not quite there yet which also can bring a bit of um, isolation to Taurians. Okie dokie, here we go. So before we go on to the next star sign, uh, which is Gemini, um, just one more thing for, for Taurians. Remember that you are governed by Venus and therefore you have a special alignment with the universe. Google the pentagram of Venus um, and what it means, because that symbol and that symbolism, that energy um, is with you at all times and it helps you to idle a bit higher. So it's called the pentagram of Venus, um, right? So have a look at this, Taurians. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Gemini. Here we go. Gemini. <coughs> Gemini has the golden eagle and the arctic fox. So... What the guides are saying to Gemini is you see things coming. So no point being anxious, no point trying to figure out what's next, right? Things will come to you. Just relax 
and things that are for you can and will find you because your outgoing energy is the arctic fox now of all the foxes because he lives in the arctic he is therefore the most vulnerable simply because there is less opportunities and food in the arctic <coughs> and so what they're saying to you as an old soul that the fox represents is there is elements to you and parts of you that are vulnerable and so not chasing anything this week letting things come to you allow you to actually just relax a little and maybe nurture yourself and um you know continue healing okie dokie short and sweet for gemini going to the next star sign which is cancer we're looking at the week of october the 18th to the 24th 2021 so whoa i get three animal guides for cancer while the majority here had only two and Pisces only had one. <laughs> so anyway, the um, the guides have obviously there for quite a bit of advice um, for you Cancerians. You have the buffalo, the raccoon and the eagle. So the one in the middle, the raccoon, is the one we pay a bit, a bit more attention to because he is flanked by two others. What the guides are saying to you is, as your incoming energy is the buffalo, Again, because I, I, I recall that I recorded another episode very recently where Cancerians were told to pay attention to, to boundaries and their immediate surroundings. And the buffalo is basically saying the same thing. Right? Make sure that your personal space and the people you allow into your personal space is safe and is harmonious. Okay? Because you have the raccoon. The raccoon is known as a shapeshifter. And therefore, what the guides are saying to you is one of your biggest things that you do right now, Cancerians, is literally to try to adapt to whatever the heck is happening in your life, if that makes sense. And so you're not feeling in charge. You're just feeling like, well, right? <laughs> and then the outgoing energy is the bald eagle, another eagle. So what they're saying is, right, stop adapting too much. Just assess where you are in life assess where your your personal space needs tweaking and then things can come to you because that's what the eagle is basically saying to you you know you can then see what's coming your way without having to chase anything okie dokie that was cancerian now we have um, leo and virgo left here we go next star sign therefore is leo Wow, and you too have three animal guides. Wow. So, <laughs> four Leos. You have the caribou, the crow in the middle, and the brown bear. Like I said, um, every time you have three, the one in the middle that is flanked by two other animal guides, we pay a bit more attention to because that's sort of the one that you really need to understand. You have the caribou, the crow, and the brown bear. The caribou is basically a reindeer. An animal with a split hoof, so when the terrain gets difficult, the caribou doesn't sink in, which is for you to realize, number one, a caribou has antlers, antlers as a sign of protection. <coughs> in the caribou's case, the antlers literally go backwards, which means you don't, have, you don't have to fight at all, right? You have antlers, you are strong, you can use your strengths if needs be. But if you feel triggered by people, they know how to push your buttons, so don't allow that to happen, right? So, <coughs> and then the crow is the animal of transformation. Leos, you are going through changes, and because you're going through changes that to me feel life-changing or at least somewhat severe, so there is a, either a lasting impact on your life or quite an impact for quite some time, so there seems to be um, bigger things. Um, going on for Leos, um, all they're saying is let it happen, right? Pointless worrying about it, just again go with the flow, think yeah, whatever needs to be done right now to improve the situation, I go along with it, okay? And then the outgoing energy is the brown bear. Now all bears are about healing. The brown bear is the one that really, really, really denotes deep healing. So what they're saying is go along with the flow, go with the things even if they're difficult, and um, allow yourself in the meantime and while you're going through things to allow yourself to 
welcome whatever feeling it is you're feeling. Let it run through your system and acknowledge it all as part of your learning and healing curve. Right? That was Leo. Now we go into the very first star sign of this week, Virgo. Now remember, we're going into the star sign of Virgo on the 24th. So next week, Virgo is the first star sign. So when you look at the symbolism of Virgo, you have this little M thing, with arrow. <coughs> it actually, <laughs> it actually is the sign for intestines. So for Virgos, when you are overly burdened, you don't function well and you can't empty yourself out. It's difficult for you to pay attention to what needs to be done right now when you're overly burdened. So, so the main message is just for Virgo before we even go into, into um, the messages is, uh, or the message is for you to realize that to pay attention and to assess how burdened am I? Is a lot going on in my life? What's going on in my life? And how do I truly feel about it? Okay, so that's what they're saying to you. Really, really important. And um, then you have your your animal, your animal guide, <coughs> which is the Wolverine. All that means is that you're still evolving, as we all we all are evolving. I just been reading a book called Ten Million Aliens um, about all animals. And there's a really interesting sentence in there that I obviously have to paraphrase because I can't remember it exactly. But it sort of says that an ape is not a failed human. He is a fully evolved, perfect being where he is right now. And sort of that comes to me right now, which means while you're still evolving, while there are parts of you that, that aren't yet fully formed, which means there are things in your current energy and, and in the future that may make it difficult for you to actually plan properly. And all the guides are saying is, hence the Wolverine, right? A tree climber. Um, just again, look for a vantage point, try to detach yourself a little from whatever it is you're going through and look, uh, look at everything from a higher point of view, if that makes sense, right? So, that was the last star sign for the week. That was Virgo. That's all we got time for. Thank you so much for, for watching till the end. <laughs> please smash the like button. Please, please, please subscribe. Please, please, please share. Share the video widely. And if you want to support my work financially, you can now buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.